Have you ever thought about what you're going to do when you retire? Maybe travel the world, take up a passion or hobby, or maybe even retire in a beach house somewhere in the Pacific. According to a survey done by CIBC back in 2018, you will need approximately $756,000 to retire comfortably in Canada. So, how much do you have in your bank account so far? Are you close? Maybe you're just hoping that your CPP and old age security will be enough. Well, my friend, you'll be surprised to know that it's not enough. If you're skeptical, then just ask any retired Canadians. They will tell you the same thing. I don't mean to sound rude or sarcastic. I just wanted to get this message across as it's so painful to see a lot of our elderly not being able to take care of themselves financially during their golden year. The best time to invest in your retirement was yesterday. And if you haven't started yet, then you better get on it fast. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of retirement funds, the different retirement options for Canadians, and why is it so important to take care of your future self. We'll talk about Canadian pension plans, old age security, registered retirement savings plan, tax-free savings plan, and also company retirement initiatives like group RRSPs or profit sharing. We're also going to do some calculations based on assumptions and see how much money you can potentially retire with when you consistently contribute to retirement on a regular basis. So stay tuned for that. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ryan, and this channel is all about helping you immigrants get ahead in life. But before anything else, a bit of disclaimer here, I'm not working for any financial institutions, and I'm not a financial or retirement planner. And what I'm sharing with you is my own opinion and based on my research and experience only. All right, so let's start with the basics. Why is retirement planning so important? Well, here's the deal. Retirement isn't just about kicking back and relaxing. Although that part kind of sounds really amazing, right? It's also about maintaining your quality of life and financial independence. So without proper planning, here are some consequences that you might face. First is financial struggles. According to a survey by the Canadian Payroll Association, over 40% of Canadians feel overwhelmed by their debts and have trouble saving for retirement. So without a plan, you could end up in financial hardships during your golden years. Another one is dependency on others. So without savings, you might have to rely on your children or family members for support, which can strain relationships and limit your freedom. So for most of us Filipinos, we have the obligation to help our parents or relatives on their retirement years especially if they are not financially prepared for it. But just imagine if they have planned well for their retirement and are financially well off. So imagine how much freedom this will give you. And one more consequence for not planning for retirement is healthcare costs. You see, as we age, healthcare expenses tend to increase and we actually get sick a lot as well. So without adequate savings, you might struggle to cover medical bills and prescriptions. So why don't people save for retirement, you ask? If you're in college or in your 20s, you probably aren't planning to retire for another 40 years. And if you're in your 30s, retirement is about 30 plus years away. So this is why it's so easy to feel like retirement is so, so far into the future and that we don't really care about that and that we have plenty of time before we need to start preparing for it. The result is that we would rather treat ourselves to things we can enjoy right now like buying an expensive car or going for lavish vacations instead of putting aside money for a future that's decades away. So this process is actually a human behavior called hyperbolic discounting. And it happens when we're more inclined to make decisions that come with a more immediate reward instead of decisions that come with a future reward. So how much money do you need to retire in Canada? It is estimated that you will need anywhere from 700,000 to 1 million Canadian dollars to live comfortably during retirement. This is just an estimate as there is a lot of variable to consider and every person have a different living expense and lifestyle. Also, this estimate is missing two very important variables, taxes and inflation. Your retirement fund is subject to taxes and your money now is not the same as your money when you retire due to inflation. So after retirement, your expenses are likely to go down. So 70 to 80% of your pre-retirement salary should be fine. Okay, let's look at a more realistic number. The average annual income for Canadians right now is around $60,000. So 70% of this is $42,000. Assuming that you will retire at 65 and will live to about 85, which is the average mortality age, then you have 20 years for retirement. So 42,000 multiplied by 20 is 840,000. 
Of course, this is just a general guideline and we did not even consider tax deductions here. And if you need to live a frugal lifestyle, then I'm, I'm sure you can aim for the lower range of 700,000. But if you can do something about it now, knowing what you already know, would you? How much do you have in your retirement now and are you saving enough? I think the most important question is, do you have enough time? All right, now that I got your attention, let's talk solutions. Canada has several fantastic retirement programs and saving options to help you secure your future. Here are some of them. Canada Pension Plan. The CPP is a government-sponsored pension plan that provides a monthly benefit based on your work history and contributions. It's a fundamental source of retirement income for many Canadians. Old Age Security Old Age Security is another government program that offers a monthly pension to eligible seniors. You can receive OAS benefits as early as age 65. Registered Retirement Savings Plan RRSPs are tax advantage accounts designed to help you save for retirement. You can invest in a variety of assets like stocks, bonds, and mutual funds while reducing your taxable income. Note that this is a voluntary program, so do your research first. Tax-free savings account. Tax-free savings accounts, or TFSAs, allow you to save and invest money tax-free. While not specifically for retirement, TFSAs are also a great way to supplement your retirement savings. Employer pension plans. Many employers offer pension plans, such as defined benefit or defined contribution plans, profit sharing, and group RRSPs which can significantly boost your retirement income. So ask your employer if this is available for you. All right, let's look at some examples to see how these programs and saving options can impact your retirement. And I'm actually going to show you a government site that gives us rough estimates on how much you can potentially retire with. So you can just go to this site right here, Canadian Retirement Income Calculator. So this is a Canadian government site which gives us a bit of an estimate on how much we could get in terms of the re retirement fund. So in the situation that we're going to use, we're going to use two different situations. One in which you're just relying on a CPP and an OJ security fund. And then the other situation, the second situation, is we're going to do CPP and OJ security, but we're going to add RSPs and tax-free savings account. And let's try to compare which one would give us the most retirement funds in terms of investment. So we're just going to go and continue. Well, we're going to input some information that we uh, that we talked about earlier. So the, the first situation that we're going to do is, like what I mentioned, just the CPP and the old age security. So the month here, we're just going to randomly select yeah, January. And then on the year, since we are 30 years old right now, we should be born at the year 1993. And then the male gender. Uh, we talked about uh, $60,000 as the current Canadian annual um, average annual income. So we're going to choose $60,000 as our income. And of course, you can enter your actual um, annual income here. But we're just, uh, uh, we're just using assumptions in, in this case. And, and in here, it will ask you what is your um, goal for retirement. So in here, it says the majority of recent Canadian retirees with an income of $60,000 at age 30 received an annual retirement income of between $27,000 and $46,000 at the age of 70. So we mentioned earlier that you need about 70% to 80% of your pre-retirement income to live comfortably during retirement. So 70% of $60,000 would be $42,000. So we're gonna change the $37,000 to $42,000. And then here, we're just gonna uh, keep it the same because life expectancy is at age 85. So we'll keep it at yes. And go to next. And you see here, this is the CPP area. So you can go to this drop down button here. There's a Canadian pension plan. If you live in Quebec, you can choose Quebec pension plan, of course. But in this situation, we're gonna use CPP. Um, and then it's gonna ask you if you have any statement or contributions. Uh, for, for, you, for those of you that have the statement, you can enter uh, yes, but uh, we're just gonna choose no for now. And then this is a predetermined estimate, so we're just gonna keep it at yes. And then here is you know, the age that you wanted to receive the benefit. We'll keep it at 65. And you, you plan to work after you start receiving CPP. I don't wanna be working after I retire, so I'll keep it at no. And then press next. All right. So the next one is employer pension. If you have any benefits given to you by your employer, then go ahead and press yes, press yes. 
it will generate this uh, drop down um, option. So choose the right benefit that your employer gives you. But in this situation, I'm just going to press no because employer benefit usually is uncontrollable. You don't control this. So in this situation, I'm going to choose no and then go to next. Uh, this is the part where you can include the RRSPs and then the tax free savings account. Since we're doing the first situation of not having this two, then we're going to press no for both. Then press no. And then we have other income again, I will keep it at no. And then press next. It's going to ask you a couple more questions here. We're almost done. Um, do, do you want to live in Canada when you're age 65? I'll press yes. And then will you have lived in Canada for at least 40 years between age 18 and 65? But since we just started this uh, at the age of 30, we're only going to be living and working in Canada for 35 years. So for now, we're just going to put no and then enter 35 years. Okay. So at what age do you plan to receive your OAS? Um, we'll keep it at 65 and then uh, note some of this um, pop-up screens, go through it. If this applies to you, then you can go um, and uh, enter and research uh, further. Uh, but for this situation, we're just going to ignore it and then go to next. And obviously, uh, since this is rough estimates, um, it's just a disclaimer. So let's continue um, and see how much uh, we get in terms of retirement fund. Okay, so uh, this are the information that we've entered earlier. What is really useful in this uh, page is if you go further down, uh, you see here this, the goal that we set for retirement, and then this will be our retirement income when you reach the age of 65, which is $16,322. So we are lacking or we're missing $25,000 more um, than from our goal. So um, these are just charts to help you kind of see what it looks like. Um, and tables to help you better understand um, what your um, retirement income would be. So here is the goal of 42,000, old, old age security is this, and then the Canada Pension Plan is this. So if you look further down in this table, um, the CPP is um, 8,600, and then your old age security is 7,300. So we did not have any of this. So your total estimated retirement income would be this one from 65 uh, and then once you reach 75 it becomes this uh, that's what i was trying to say earlier when if you're just relying on your cpp and your old age security um this is the estimate retirement income that you will have once you retire at the age of 65. the question for you is will this be enough for you on a yearly basis if you're considering going to the philippines for example on a yearly basis or traveling the world or pursuing uh, some of your passion, um, you might probably need a little bit more than this. So that's what this uh, first situation um, gives us. Now, we're going to do another situation, second situation. I'm just gonna start a new session. And then we're gonna keep all the information the same, but the only thing that we're gonna change here is that we're gonna add an RRSP and a tax-free savings account. And let's see what the difference would be. So month would be January year at 1993 male same goes here sixty thousand dollars and then forty two thousand and then we'll keep it yes next canada now we're gonna choose cpp and then we're gonna press no we'll keep it the same the same and then the same and then we're not going to enter anything the same thing, right? Because again, like what I said, any employer pension um, is very uncontrollable. If you have this right now, perfect. Ask your employer if you don't know if, if they are offering this or not. But for now, um, we're going to keep it at no. So here in our uh, SP, we're going to actually uh, uh, change this to yes. Our current value for our RRSP, since we're just starting, uh, we would not have anything yet. But this system actually will not allow us to move to the next uh, step unless we ha we add something. I'm just going to put $1, one dollar for now. And then we are thinking of or planning on contributing on a weekly basis. And let's say we're going to have, uh, we're going to start contributing $100 every week on our RRSP. And then we plan to retire at 65 
and start getting that income at 65 but i wanted to change this to 85 because i wanted to get that income all the way to 85 and even more right and then here is an annual rate of ret return since rrsps are invested to mutual funds index funds or bonds um, i'm just going to change this to six i don't want to change it too high because i want to be conservative on average um uh, rate of return would usually be around eight or ten percent if you're doing um a good job with the investment but i want to keep it conservative so let's let's stick with six for now so do you have any other um savings so we're going to choose yes and add a tax-free savings account so since we're just starting at the age of 30 again we're just going to put one here one dollar and then on average how much you plan to contribute um frequency we're going to use quickly again and then amount is we're just going to choose $50 instead of $100 um, as our tax-free savings account contribution on a weekly basis. I'll keep the same at $65 but change this to $85, same as before. The average rate of return here, I'm going to change to $6 and then press Next. Will you have other income? Keep it the same. And then here, will you be living in uh, Canada when you reach $65? I'll press Yes. And will you have lived in Canada for 40 years? The same thing as earlier. That's a no because I'm going to be living only at 35 because I just started. And at what age do you plan to receive your OAS, uh, old age security, at 65? So I'll keep it at that. And then continue. All right, we reached this point where there's a disclaimer. It's just reminding us that these are just rough estimates. Okay, so excited to see what is the difference. All right, so. Um, this is what we've entered and calculated earlier and if you go further down you see there's a bit of a difference here so our goal is the same of 42,000 but our average income estimate when we retire when we include the RRSP and tax free savings account is actually $53,600 which is a lot more than what we uh, had a calculation before without those right so there's a difference of a positive of $11,606. So if you go further down, uh, this table just kind of uh, breaks it up uh, even more. Um, and then um, if you go here, you see the difference here. So the Canadian pension plan is almost the same as um, uh, earlier, your CPP. And then your OJ Secure is almost the same as uh, earlier. But the big difference is your retirement savings, is your RRSP and tax free savings account contributions. So look at that. So if you add all these, you will end up with this amount on the when you retire at 65 on an annual basis. And then of course from 65 to 74, um, when you start, when you reach the age of 75, this is, you know, there's a slight um, difference. Not a big lot, but a little bit uh, higher than what you used to receive. So there you go. That's the difference uh, when you add RSPs and tax-free savings account to your CPP and old age security in terms of re retirement plan. And if you do have any employer benefits, please ask and take advantage of that because that will further boost your retirement funds when you reach that golden year. Finally, I just wanted to remind you guys that uh, calculations here does not include inflation and taxes. So consider inflation as well when you're doing this calculation. So with inflation, you can actually go to this um, site right here, Bank of Canada and it's gonna calculate inflation uh, rate for us. Now, we can't predict what inflation would be in the future, but we can definitely go back in history to see what was the trend. So I'm gonna go back 20 years, um, 2003 until 2023, and see what was the average inflation rate um, in Canada. Yes, so uh, press calculate, and here you go. So from 2003 to 2023, there was a change in percentage of 254%. Now, it's a number of years, it's 20. So every year on average, there was an increase in inflation to about 2.19%. So you can use this as a benchmark, right? So um, count how many more years do you have from now till the age of 65, and then um, multiply that years to 2.19, and that's how much you should add to your total retirement money that you will need. So there you have it. Retirement planning isn't just about financial security. It's about enjoying the fruits of your labor and maintaining your independence in your golden year. Don't procrastinate. Start planning for retirement today. Remember, Canada offers various programs and saving options to help you secure your future. 
it's never too early or too late to start. Take advantage of these resources and ensure a comfortable retirement. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more informative content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.